Hi everyone, I'm Chris McAllister, the Clubhouse Manager at the Harmony Club in New York City, and today I'm going to talk to you about barrel aging, your favorite spirits and cocktails at home. I'm going to talk about why we do it, where you can get a great barrel with a special Harmony member discount, how to prep your barrel for use, a perfect Manhattan recipe that truly is perfect, and what to do with your barrel after it's empty. Uh, barrel aging cocktails has been really popular, a rising trend since about 2016, particularly in urban areas like New York City. A lot of people are now buying barrels like this one to age at home. Personally, I love uh, to age things at home because it allows me to taste things along the way and really see how the wood imparts uh, flavor into the liquor or softens and combines all of the ingredients for a cocktail. I purchased my barrels from BarrelsOnline.com, and they have offered all Harmony Club members a 25% discount on any purchase uh, with the promo code HARMONY. Their cooperage has been in business for about 15 years, and they make all American oak barrels in a variety of styles and sizes uh, with options to customize your barrels like we've done here for the Harmony Club with our 1852 Harmony Club logo. Prepping your barrel or curing it can take some time, but it's super, super important. Remember, an oak barrel for aging isn't made with glue or nails, meaning the moisture inside the barrel expands the wood and prevents it from leaking. And that's what happens during the curing process, so we can't skip this step. There are a few different parts to the barrel that you should know first. This is the spigot in front. Uh, this is what they call the bung hole uh, up top with the with the um, with the plug, and then there are uh, these uh, hoops that go around the barrel. I recommend getting the barrels with galvanized steel hoops because they really are the strongest ones and they won't rust. But most cooperages, including BarrelsOnline.com, makes hoops in black metal or brass, and sometimes in other metals. Um, so in order to cure an oak barrel for aging, there's a few steps. First, you want to insert the spigot into the center of the barrel. It will come unassembled. I do this with a rubber mallet, just like this. And you want to remember not to force it in because you can split the wood. You just want to make sure that the spigot and the barrel has a tight seal. The second thing is you want to fill the barrel with water and empty it uh, through the hole in the top a few times. This really helps get out any debris that could clog your spigot. And you can see that when you fill uh, the barrel and you go to empty it, okay, if you open up the barrel, it will help all the water fall out the bottom a lot quicker. So um, after the water starts coming out clear, it'll take a few refills. Uh, you wanna put the, um, refill the barrel with half amount of water and put a, a plug in the top. And this is where the ceiling takes place and the wood, the, these staves of the barrel are able to expand. Make sure that you put the barrel in an area where you don't mind a little water leaking. This is, this is normal and it should happen. And as water leaks out, you wanna add a little bit more water to it. I put my barrels on just a baking sheet pan uh, in the side of my kitchen and uh, wait, wait a little while as, as the water leaks out. Uh, once your barrel stops leaking water, then you're good to go. You're ready to use it for aging. I recommend that you let your barrel sit for a minimum of one to two days, keeping an eye on it and adding water as needed. For these barrels, uh, I noticed that they were ready to go after one day. Uh, there, there was no leaks, so that was really great. Now it's time to age your favorite spirit or cocktail in your cured oak barrel. Today we're going to be preparing a perfect Manhattan. The word perfect doesn't necessarily refer to the quality of the cocktail. However, I do think it's a pretty perfect recipe. Instead, it refers to using equal parts of sweet vermouth and dry vermouth. Today's recipe, we're going to have one full bottle of bourbon whiskey. It's a 750 milliliter bottle. And the choice I chose for this recipe is Uncle Nearest 1856. It's a great whiskey that runs about $65 a bottle. And it's named in honor of the first African-American master distiller in the United States. Uncle Nearest also won uh, best American whiskey at the New Orleans Bourbon Festival. And it's listed as a top five whiskeys of the world. 
we have two types of bitters here. The recipe calls for a total of a half ounce of uh, bitters or about 15 milliliters. I like to mix and match because there's so many great bitter flavors out on the market. Today, we're gonna use the traditional Angostura bitters, really herby, and I mixed uh, the other half of that half ounce with cherry bitters. It will offer a really nice flavor profile once everything's melted together. The last ingredient for our perfect Manhattan is a little Luxardo maraschino liqueur. Luxardo maraschino liqueur has a great, again, cherry profile, which pairs wonderfully with whiskey. You want to combine all of the items into the barrel. You can do this on the side in a pitcher and then pour it in, um, or you can do it separately. I like to do it right into the barrel, save the dishes, and use a nice uh, kitchen funnel like this one. After you've filled the barrel with all of the ingredients for your cocktail or your spirit, you want to take the barrel and roll it from side to side. This helps coat the inside of the, of the barrel with all of the alcohol. You want to make sure that all of the staves in the barrel stay moist. So as you age it every week or so, you want to make sure that you roll it to make sure that the staves on top don't dry out. When they dry out, they'll shrink and then your barrel will start leaking. How long should you age your spirit now that it's in the barrel? You should age your spirit or cocktail for at least two weeks. I like to age mine for a minimum of four weeks and sometimes even more. You should taste test every week to determine your favorite taste. After all, that's the benefit and fun of barrel aging any spirit or cocktail at home. When you think you've found that perfect flavor profile and you wanna stop aging it, you can decant the barrel into a glass bottle like this or this from some of my past recipes. Glass bottles prevent the liquor from aging or changing anymore. But remember, the more air in the bottle, the faster you want to finish it because alcohol can still evaporate in the bottle and that changes the quality of the whiskey. So if any of you have some really great scotches or whiskeys at home with only a few ounces, my recommendation is to enjoy them very soon. What to do when the barrel is empty? We're all in quarantine, you've aged it for four weeks and you've finished it in two nights. If you're going to reuse the barrel immediately with the same cocktail combination or spirit, generally you don't need to do anything but refill it. But if you're planning on storing it away, whether in the garage, under your bed or the closet, uh, you wanna make sure you follow a few steps. Rinse it out until the water runs clear, just like we did when we were curing it, and fill the barrel halfway back up with water and plug it. This prevents the barrel from drying out and shrinking. You can also add an ounce or two of the liquor that you're planning to use in it next. This helps reduce the possibility for mold. And remember that when you store the barrel, you should also make sure to rotate it just like you rotate it when you're aging your favorite spirit or cocktail because the top of the barrel needs to stay wet and moist. So rotate it just like this to make sure that your barrel doesn't get ruined while you have it stored away. A lot of people also ask, can a barrel for aging be used with different kinds of spirits? The answer is yes and no. Changing flavors in the same oak barrel usually isn't recommended. The oak absorbs the flavors of whatever liquor is aged in it. Flavoring a whiskey will result in that flavor affecting the next barrel refill. However, I usually like the idea of having the flavor of the previous spirit carry over to the, to the next liquor. For example, you can age some sherry in the oak barrel for a week, two weeks, maybe three, and then use the same barrel to age a nice scotch or whiskey after the sherry has been removed. If you like this approach, you can really come up with some unique spirits and your own recipes and flavor profiles. There are some limits to the barrel reuses, however, that generally depends on the type of spirit you're aging inside of it. I know we have a lot of tequila lovers at the Harmony Club and oak barrels like this are perfect for aging tequila at home too. If you choose to age tequila in any of these oak barrels, you can get about 10 reuses out of it. 
Rum is another exciting thing to age at home. It's an up and coming star, a re-emerging re star in the liquor world. Sipping rums and aging rums are becoming really popular and you can do it at home as well. If you choose to put rum in one of these oak barrels, you can get about seven reuses. For whiskey or bourbon, however, you can only get about four to five reuses before the char and the wood inside uh, have imparted all of their flavor. That's it for my tips and tricks on how to barrel age your favorite spirits and cocktails at home. Make sure you use your Harmony member discount code to get 25% off any purchase at Barrels Online by using promo code HARMONY. And let us know how your barrel aging goes by tagging the Harmony Club on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and by using the hashtag new since 1852. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris from the Harmony Club. It's time for me to do some early taste testing. Cheers.